Hello, everyone, and welcome into the off-season podcast in studio this week. Going to be a little bit of a different Long. feel, different vibe. I will say there's no screen peeking during the game. Yeah, that would be. Dope. I thought of that. That would be diabolical. I might, yeah, I might like move my laptop. Screen. I might like move my laptop back. Well, to my lap. how are we going to see what we need? To I'm going to text y'all. The oh, pictures. sick. Do you have? You both have your phone on you? I don't have a phone. Yeah. I'm just okay. Kidding, I got it. I'm gonna text. Thing is, this mic too doesn't get affected by my phone. So, it's just good. like fuck it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but. All right, we're gonna kick the the show off with a story from Jacob Dell. Are we not? Are we not gonna talk about the elephant in the room? Or? I mean, we can talk about the hack. I guess we don't want a Barstool Radio moment where we just don't talk about it. Yeah, they got canceled. I, I they got gonna, canceled. Yeah, their show. Yeah, their show is gone. Canceled. From yeah, that. we don't. We don't want our show to get canceled. Here. There, I think I would be depressed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we got hacked on. Ruthless. Well, yesterday for us, three days ago for y'all on Monday, um, not as bad this time. So a lot of people think they know. Uh, how that hacking works and they're like oh foundation doesn't have two factor set up or backup codes or authenticator apps or we have all of that it doesn't right. matter no i'm just kidding we have all of that it doesn't <laughs> matter they basically we don't we still don't know the exact source of where it comes from but you open something you click a link who knows who knows exactly where it came from because this time it was a different entry point um but then they just hijack your current session where you're signed in, and then they change all of that stuff. So two factors gone, backup codes gone, Authenticator app. Literally, last time it changed to where you had to have a USB to plug it into the computer to prove that you were that person. <laughs> that only works if they guess your password. Two factor is meant for people who get your password. Yeah, they didn't get our password. They had our whole session. Um, so that's what happened again this time. It happened to a manager's account of the foundation youtube so basically what that meant was we could sign in the reason we were had managers set up is because last time we got hacked so it worked this time we were able to sign in to our main account remove that manager from access to the foundation account and robbie's account so we can at least get that back up and running while we now try to work with google to get that person's account back so way less stressful this time there was a there was a few minutes of panic of course because it was nice yeah. that we were together yeah, it was immediately like we were really I was just able, like we I was trying to, to do stuff, it. and I was just constantly rejecting calls from like yeah. everyone in the company. I'm like, I know what's going on. You're making my phone not work. What? Please let me just do this. We as soon as we realized that we were all still signed in, that was a big sigh of relief because last time we were all signed out because our password. Well, had been yeah, last time it happened during a monthly meeting, and so my phone afterwards, I just looked oh down and I saw like. So I just saw like all Sounds these security like it's an inside job. They knew they it is. Yeah. I saw all these security alerts to my like backup email saying this has been changed. This has been, like all this stuff's been changed. And then we went over and Tesla live was on our channel. Let's Crazy. just talk about this business model real quick. So there one second, Robbie, I wouldn't sign into your Gmail on that computer you're on in case that's the computer that it got in on potentially. <laughs> just just a heads up. You can use my computer or uh Trevor's. Yeah, mine's open too. So but just just a heads up in case there's an active virus on the computer you're currently using. <laughs> I don't want your channel to be gone. <laughs> I just looked over and saw it. I was like, wait a second, just to be safe. So the business but, the business model I find fascinating because you you can't really make an insane amount of money off of YouTube AdSense, right? You have to have a crazy no. amount of views yeah. to make money. Yeah, but off what if of YouTube but what AdSense. if you have so, what if you have a hundred channels that well, have like a hold on, let me yeah, hold on, no, let me, but they're not trying to make on, AdSense. Me, hold on, let me get there. Yeah, because because. <laughs> What what's happening is they're changing your channel. So I am subscribed to Foundation Disc Golf. I join or I get on YouTube to see, oh, let's see what videos are up. And all of a sudden this weird ripple with a weird logo that I've never seen before is now in my subscription box. And then there's a weird uh up uh you know upcoming live stream talking about crypto. Yeah. I'm not I'm not clicking that. However, Clearly, this is some sort of business model that works, or they wouldn't do it. There are enough people in this world that do click it and then do go on and buy, listen to this random person talk AI, about crypto, AI then, Elon Musk, and then go buy <laughs> crypto or something. Yeah, they're, they're not going after the YouTube AdSense no. because even if you have a mixed Mr. Beast channel, big, uh, well, they're doing live streams, streams like that. So that's kind of what. Yeah, but even if you're that massive, when you go onto your YouTube, most people don't even go to their subscriptions. Most people go to like their for you. Yeah. Who's clicking that? Yeah. 
and clearly enough people well, are when we like, when found they, wild to me is enough people are going when, in and very well because it gives you your it, it gives you all like anyone who has notifications turned on gets a notification that you're going that someone so going uh, live and yeah, people yeah. just click on it because like when foundation got hacked the first time the live stream actually happened and there was like hundreds of people in there yeah <laughs> which is again sense like you're not making any money so no they, they have there has to be people that they just want to buy the crypto product or doing something well from the crazy to me that you're just going into live stream and being like the tesla live one it was elon musk telling you to buy yeah this one was like something about how the sec blah 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 yeah. trying to get you to invest in some crypto i wonder, I I wonder if it's a smoke screen man i don't wonder if all these hacks and all these random streams they're smoke screen something bigger something else is going on. i don't know i feel like it's know. a pretty Cause easy because like you just need to get if you hack hundreds of accounts oh here we go every month but imagine so imagine <laughs> imagine google's customer service how much strain is on them if they're focusing on all these youtube accounts that just got hacked they're they're left vulnerable that's true they're that left, is true it could be a bigger attack they're google. like let's get every single important person whose livelihood depends on these youtube channels blowing up google and then let's get them what was the uh, i was thinking about it what was the thing that everyone was worried about when 2000 y2k hit? this is y2k this, this is actually happening now okay well, they were worried about computers wouldn't be able to work because everything was a couple of zeros. Yeah. Mm. just yeah. my mom and dad had a uh, peanut butter and i was three um my mom and dad had peanut butter and water in the basement because my mom was like freaking out because everyone bought into y2k <laughs> and my dad went downstairs and at midnight he flipped the breaker to turn all the power off in the I house find, i need to like and my mom was like freaked out like it's it's real it's happening oh that's hilarious and my dad just turned the power back on and uh, it's so funny i think? really need to watch a good documentary brody you were a little older when y2k happened yeah. I like, was what 13. were people really thinking? It's because computer is binary. I understand, that but was like the whole thing. But we all like we were all so new to computers that we didn't think like, oh, they'll probably just be able to go in and fix that stuff before yeah. this happens. No, they just, no they, because I mean I think But obviously they we did. Were still doing I think that was still back in the day of dial up, which you yeah. guys have never done, which is I like, experienced it. You couldn't be online if someone's on the phone. You experienced the ringing of getting connected to online? You've done that yourself? You, there's no shot. I don't, shot. Know, if I, How, I don't know about that. You would have been like super. I remember like about, I would get kicked off of Xbox if someone picked up the phone. Oh, okay. I'm saying like. No, I, not that. Kind not that of. Old, but that was about, a dial up at least. I'm talking about when you turn on your computer and you like click on the internet. It's like. Ring, 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 ring. Ring, ring, ring. No, I didn't like, experience that. It takes about 30 to 45 seconds to get on the internet. No. Because no. it's like. Yeah. That. that that's yeah. what we were dealing with. So I get the whole freak out because the internet thing was no one really understood. What was the, the biggest? Was the stock market the biggest fear? No, I think no, I, there I think was a lot of fear of like just stop power not working. The power yeah, grid? Like, like everything. Works. Yeah. Yeah. Because as I'm saying, like, we obviously nowadays are we're so much more dependent on technology, we freaked out way more if something like that were a threat. Oh, yeah. But like, because like back connected. then, it was like, yeah. How many? I'm sure. I'm sure a lot of people when, did not. How many care. people even had computers in their homes? No, it was. But more, it was like it the was power grid. The, and stuff. It was more all the businesses and everything around you were all just gonna like one day just. I need to watch a good documentary on Y2K. There's got to be some good ones out there. I mean, think think COVID. That's basically That's what it is. Like That's everything true. just Shut stopped down. working. Uh, let's go with this Disney. first story from Jacob Bell. <laughs> he said. Last week, I was playing a nine hole. Uh, I was playing hole nine at Scott Irk Course in Sycamore Trails Park near Dayton when I lost my precious pink K1 Berg X. I had thrown a decent drive along the OB fence line and then a gentle forehand approach, but the approach skipped off a root under the basket and flew towards the fence out of sight. My wife and I searched the area for at least 10 minutes, confused because there was nowhere for this disc to hide. I even checked inside the culvert that goes under the road behind the basket. As you're about to give up, I decided to check whether a disc could even go farther into the culvert, so I tossed a jawbreaker focus in and watched it stop like 10 feet within 10 feet of the opening. I grab it, but then my wife suggests I flip it over, stamp side down, and try. Our jaws dropped as the disc floated away into darkness at breakneck speed on what looked like no more than a little trickle of water. I took a deep breath and charged in after it, knowing I have to traverse the whole thing with my weak phone flashlight in hand. What is a culvert? It's like a... Like, like a, a big pipe. Storm like a, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's what I was picturing. Like at Sandusky Park. Yeah. Okay, that's what I was picturing. Fine. It sounds like it just flew in there. Have you guys ever seen those like uh, yeah. videos of guys like in those like little tunnels and you can't that, go backwards? Or, that, that that freaks me out. As he got near the halfway point of the culvert, he saw his focus sitting at the far end. I looked down and found my Berg X smugly staring back at me. 
it had gotten caught on a rock in the water 100 feet or so down the culvert, completely invisible unless I was right on top of it. I was jubilant knowing I wouldn't have to replace my Berg X, my perfect stable crutch, and also quite happy to find an unmarked end of a made P2 in the pool at the other end of the culvert as a reward for my effort. I think some of these people are starting to sneak in big words to try to see if we know what they mean. Um, I, I also... I, I haven't heard the first bonus hint in a long time. <laughs> first bonus hint, Jacob Dell is also going to be one of the people oh, in the guest that rating. That is a bonus oh, hint. So yeah. now you have a little contact about guy chased him. down a culvert. Yesterday yeah. or the other day, I was throwing... Um, I was, you know, I was testing out my new disc. Comes out this Friday. FoundationDisc.com. Nice, you know, nice, nice. It, 5 p.m. Eastern. Um, <laughs> Cut that out, Silas. Keep going. <laughs> it's for <on> the website. <laughs> um, and anyways, I threw it into. I just threw it in a field and like a wide open field. It was at Hideaway in like, but where the camp is, the basketball court. Just chucked it down there. And I walk up and I'm like, where did it go? Like it was like in the middle of the field. I was walking right to where it went, and it had gone in a like a gopher hole or a yeah. groundhog hole. And it had gone like almost all the way in, just landed perfectly flat and zoop. And so I grabbed it, like I found it, but like, yeah, I was like, what are the odds of that? So this story also makes me think of just talking about being in tight spaces and trying to find stuff. Gosh. There's a ship. You're watching this skating videos, man. They make me sick. There's a ship that has a device that basically, um, like, you know how. Sometimes in a pool, you would mess around where you would like grab something and pull it under the pool, and there'd be like a little air pocket yeah. Yeah. up, right? So there's a ship How that basically that does this like on that. in like riverbeds of where it'll push all the way down, and then you basically are staying in this pressurized like um, area. You get depressurized, then you walk down, and you can literally be on the bed of a river, like the, the bed of. You river be bed. on the riverbed mm -hmm. with no water around you, and you're yeah. in this little dome, That's and sick. you can find, you know, old anchor. You can do all sorts of stuff down there. Are you getting oxygen to you? And yeah, there's, they shoot oxygen yeah. in. They I said, shoot Mr. Beast in there to shoot out all the water. <laughs> Mr. Beast did this in a in a pool in his backyard. He went under with a plastic bin. Yeah, and then he pumped oxygen. And he did it for like 24 hours. But I'm thinking to myself like. If you're in it, it looks fine, and you're like, oh, that looks cool. But then when they take like the the diagram of like what's actually happening it then terrifies me because it's like if one thing messes up all that pressure you're just you're dead you're dead i mean or or just like a, there's a leak and water starts rushing in like you're at the very i don't know it seemed creepy but that's, that's just a like crazy how far underwater like the people who do like submarines and stuff like that mm -mm. Mm -mm. that's just a that's crazy like job. when i go to the outer banks Okay, there's like several different ways from where we live in Lynchburg to get to the Outer Banks in North Carolina. One of them takes you up through Norfolk through the tunnel. <laughs> and it's like a mile-long tunnel. How do they build them? Instead of building a bridge, they built a tunnel under them. the ocean. He hates it. And I've told Liz multiple oh, times, like, I don't do that. I'm not going through that tunnel. Like, we, we need to always make sure we drive <laughs> a different way. Well, the first time I was going to the beach... I didn't know which route took me through the tunnel, which route didn't, because they all go up to Norfolk, and then they split different ways to get you down. And so I was like, I need you to tell me which one of these routes oh, no. is the tunnel. And she's like, I don't know. I think I think this is the way my dad goes, and we don't go through the tunnel. I was like, perfect. So I click on that route. We get up. We left after work, so I left at like 4.30, 5 o'clock. <laughs> didn't practically feel the So panic. we get towards the tunnel at like 8.30 or 9, so it's kind of dark outside. And I start seeing signs, and Liz is like, no, yeah, you'll see the signs for the tunnel, but we exit before. I'm like, oh, okay. And next thing I know, it's like You're staring last exit, and we pass it. I'm like, Liz, there's no other option. We're going through the tunnel. She's like, no, I, I, I told you, like, this is the way we come. She pranked you. And then we got to it, and like, we start going down, and sure enough, we're going to the tunnel. I'm like, Liz, I can't do this. Like, I can't. I'm gonna lock up. Like, and so we start getting down there, and people in front of me start hitting their brakes, like there was traffic. And I was like, hey, if we get stuck in traffic in this tunnel, like, I'm gonna have a panic attack. <laughs> and so luckily, I got into the fast lane, and I just booked it like i i don't even, i was going like 20 something over the speed limit because i was like I, i'll pay whatever fine i need whatever to get me out of this thing so i just through the tunnel and now i knew the route so now even if it takes us 30 minutes longer we did a pretty crazy uh, through tunnel. tunnel through the uh zion national park in like the side of that canyon See, that didn't bother me as much for some reason it was just really skinny yeah that one underwater under, underwater is always a different animal because you're scarier. like yeah 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 because i mean yeah, water being that far underwater, yeah, it's never any fun. I just don't, don't I don't understand tunnels. Like, how do you build them? Like, I like an. I need to watch. Tunnel. I need to watch a YouTube video on how to build a tunnel. They have to pump a lot of water. I, I guess they have to build the first part actually underwater and then pump the water out. 
then like have that i don't know how are you blocking off the water as you're building maybe well, you, you just build, build on, maybe you build a whole build tunnel and then you just drop it in with the oh inside. yeah duh that's definitely what they do it's, they, it's a mile time. long tunnel oh, piece by piece though they probably that's that's probably the, that way they have to do it is drop it in and pump the water out i don't know yeah no that makes sense they, they never have, have to drop have it in piece something by piece. to block all the water from coming in no, you, you, once I you, still don't you understand. have a completed tunnel. Once you get the full, like you drop it in piece by piece and it's finished to where there's exits. Okay. You pump all the water. So is it, it deep enough in. that like every ship can go over this tunnel? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like why not just build a bridge? Not like it has to be, not it has to be easier are, are, to build a bridge than a tunnel. How many bridges collapses have you heard versus tunnel collapses? I've heard a lot more bridge collapses. Well, there's Maybe. way more bridges. Are you sure? I saw this. There's probably a hundred to one bridges. There might be a thousand to one bridges. Uh, I'm sure about that. Well, there's about 500 bridges in Lynchburg, and there's no tunnels. It's true. I, that's not true to get into Liberty's canvas. There is tunnel. a tunnel. There's a tunnel there. Uh, I saw this thing since 2015. There's only been two airplane, like airline related uh, fatalities uh, on any U.S. based airline. And the odds, so the odds of you getting into a, a fatality, you'd have to fly every single day for like 125,000 years. To like have a hundred percent chance. Someone I was arguing with someone that, that if they flying isn't that crazy? That was, Except for that one flight where the door ripped. That's off. I was arguing. Well, they all lived. I was yeah, arguing. No one was sitting in that seat. No, like, I, did, I was I'm arguing just, with someone they that shot out like a rocket. It's just crazy that that's how we have made flying that safe. And you're in a tube way up in the sky going that fast. Who? It must not have been anyone in this office. But I was arguing with someone literally like a few months ago that if a door ripped off an airplane everyone would be okay. Like you wouldn't get sucked out. Like yeah, th they yeah. were arguing with, with your me. Your seatbelt's on. You're they were fine. arguing with me that everyone in the plane would die. Basically they watched too many movies. And you would get sucked out. And I was like, that's not true. You and then if this you happened. Sitting, if you were sitting right, if they were sitting right next yeah, to you, sure, you that did one. not have your seatbelt yeah. on, you would have gotten sucked but out. But I'm saying, they were arguing, whoever it was, it must, it, it must have been no one in this office. That's, that's the type of thing you see in a movie. Where it must not be anyone in this office. They were saying, that's what they were telling me is like, everyone would get sucked out. I'm like, that doesn't make sense. Like people skydive on a regular basis. Yeah, exactly. like that, that does it, and they're like, "Oh well, they're only at they're only at like two thousand feet. If you were at thirty thousand feet, you're dead." I was like, "I just don't believe that to be true." Well, it's not. We well, I mean, happens. I mean, think about going. think about like when you're driving in your car and you open a window. You don't it's like a little different. You don't all. Yeah, I'd say that's it's quite a, a few hundred miles per hour. Yeah, you know, still saying you don't feel like an airplane you're cabin that. is like pressurized. So when it like depressurizes, it's there's like a. That's what creates that vacuum. But that's what they were arguing that everyone would just be sucked out and you're all yeah, dead. Yeah, but it doesn't continue didn't happen. to depepressurize. No, like I, there's a, I think there's an initial. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I listen, did. nobody, no nobody one died. died. It seems like there's an initial like pull. Yeah, and probably then after right. That, it's not like a continual pull. We're, right? getting, into, we're getting into aeronautics and science. <laughs> Back to disc golf. Uh, before we get into the game, I want to. Before we get into the game, I want to highlight uh, a week from today, when you're listening to this, we will be having our five-year anniversary live stream going on on YouTube. Like I said, it's five-year anniversary is coming up here Big. in a few weeks. Uh, five years of Foundation Disc Golf, two hacks, you know, a lot of big things to celebrate here. Um, and we're going to have a live stream, lots of sales. There might be some exclusive drops going on, all that fun stuff. So be sure to tune into all of our social media to find out more details. But a week from today... Five year live stream sales a thon anniversary party. You're not gonna want to miss it. So stay tuned for that. Let's get into the game here. Mm. Oh. Uh literally, duh, guys. You build an underwater water tunnel by just going underground under the water. You just drill under the ground. Just like you make any tunnel. But then water just rushes in. Well, not if you're far enough. But I started at ground level and I drove into a tunnel. Under the ocean. Early Google search says most people just bore tunnels like under the rock. No, because I was on a bridge. Like you're like there's water on both sides of me. Yeah. And then I entered a tunnel and went down. Well, maybe part water. of it was in the water, but maybe not the whole. The thing. majority of the part is underground, I, like I, a normal tunnel. But like, is have it, you ever tried to dig I think a hole at the beach? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It just constantly fills up. It just yeah. constantly fills up with water. Well, right, but you're not digging as far down as you would dig for a tunnel. But I started at ground level, so they had to at some and point. There's, all, dig. there's water under like all of the ground. If you dig down enough, they just got to get rid of it. They gotta, you got to. Maybe dig you're it. digging in the water. But the closer you are to the ocean, the closer you are to the water. Hands up! Only one Google search in. I'm not Hopefully, gonna, there's some civil engineer, someone that out there that knows about how tough, like, how tough texture, it works. Your wife was a civil engineer major, wasn't she? Yeah. Ask she should know. She knows. Is she a bridge maker? How do they build underwater tunnels? What's harder, a tunnel or a bridge to make? That's what we really want to know. Surely a tunnel. I think the bridge is probably harder to make stable, but the tunnel is probably harder to dig. Like it's harder, more like labor. 
explosive devices. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to text you this first picture. <laughs> and okay. obviously, you'll know how this game works by now. They're going to guess the division. If they get the division right, then their guess of rating when we get to that part is 50% off. <laughs> it's a sale. Okay. Fire sale. All right. First picture coming through. What division is this guy in? Okay. Let's see. Thought Space Athletics on the shirt. Tight pants. Very tight pants. Wow. Not sure what shoes those are. They look kind of just like running shoes that he's using. Yeah, Maybe cool. Vans, honestly. I can't quite. Is that, is that water bottle not connected to his bag? No, it is. It's just a. I feel like he has one of those recycled bags because I'm seeing a lot of different patterns on it. Either that or, I mean, it's pretty cool. I've never seen that. Bag. Are there recycled bags? There are. There's yeah. like one company that does it, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Sunglasses, long hair in the back. Can't tell if there's a, if it's long hair all around or just long hair in the no, back. I think he's got a little bit of a mullet going on for sure. Um, playing in some sort of, where is he playing? What is this? This looks like, hmm. That's West Coast for sure. Trees like that? No, the trees don't look West Coast. It's more like the sand on the ground looks West Coast. All right. Uh, I guess I'll go first. Oh, I guess we have a park with a lot of sand on the Should ground. I go first here? Yeah, you go I'll take it back. I'm going to go ahead and say MA2 here. MA2 for Brody, Trevor? MA1. MA1 for Trevor. Correct answer was MA2. Gosh dang it. This is Jacob Dell. This is the Colbert story guy. Oh, this he guy. Lives in Charlottesville, Virginia, which is what got me to giggle when you said West Coast. That's funny. Uh, because it, they look from like an hour. Well, I take that back because we do have sand at one of our courses. He's like an hour up the road from us. Uh, 28 career events, two career wins. And like I said, he's the Colbert story guy. So that tells you a little bit about his resolve. Um, That's true. I, I would have probably guessed lower than MA1. If I didn't know the Colbert story, so this what? guy is eight eighty six. Eight eighty six for Brody. Playing intermediate with two dubs. Eight eighty six for Brody. I Trevor Shine. Nine eleven. Nine eleven. Let me get my points up here. So Brody eight eighty six, and that's divided by two. Okay, and Trevor. Well, I always, I always overestimate people in, in MA two. <laughs> like the two dubs can literally just come from like weird flex <laughs> starts. <laughs> So it's tough. I feel like. Okay, so once we factor. six is low for MA2. It might be right in the middle, honestly. Once we factor in Brody's divided by two, Brody has half a point. He was one off. 887 is the guy's right rating. And so Brody's at half a point. The first half a point ever awarded to the show. What? I don't know what else to do there. I just don't like. And Trevor has 24 points. I feel like ratings have just changed because, like, when I was playing disc golf, like, I was not sniffing intermediate until I was 900 rate. You don't know the wins came in intermediate. Should I don't. We, know. Should we talk? Should we talk about? He ratings? has had career wins. Because someone yeah. claimed that I haven't talked about ratings enough. Uh, no, we probably shouldn't. I okay. just like. I just like. <laughs> my when I my, got that tweet, they're like, "You need to talk about ratings." My more. brain like, scale. Where, where have you been the last it must be year new. and a half? Wait, what's the cutoff to get? You had to play in advance, like 935. 935. Yeah, that's what, like my in my brain. Like I'm not jumping into intermediate until I hit 900. Yeah, MA two is like literally 935 all the way to like 850, 840. Play, wreck is a dog fight, man. Oh, like, stay in wreck until you're winning a I bunch. I think people, which I respect. I think people want to play. I think it's because I, I think it's because the name's wreck. You're right. And like when you've been playing a lot, like you don't want to play a recreational division. Yeah. I mean, that's literally the division that Kelsey played in. Yeah. When she just, like, like was trying to. You don't. I think if, if you've division. been playing for years, like you don't want to tell people I play in rec. I guess. Yeah. I think it's the name. I don't know, dude. I'd lose some of these rec tournaments. Maybe. Yeah. No, no, no. They're, they're competitive. They're good. There's nothing wrong. I'm just saying the you know name's what, rec. You know what they should do? They should do like tennis does where um, they do like a four or they do four plus four, three and a half, three. So that way you're not that far off. So. That, so like instead of doing MA1, MA2, MA3, MA4, do it the opposite. The top division is like four plus, then four, then three and a half, then three. What is that gonna solve? What does that solve? Yeah. Just changing the name. We can just right? change we We're just changing the name. So we need to get rid of the name you're, rec. You're literally, we just need to go MA one, two, three, and you're fine. Because then you just tell people I play MA three. You don't want to tell people I play recreational. Yeah, nobody. No, isn't there? Is there a reason about it? Yeah, MA four. Just a lot of places don't offer nobody, that. Yeah, it's not very. And that's what's the difference? Kelsey, that's what Kelsey. What's the difference between novice and recreational? If you're telling dude, people like, oh, you play tournaments? What, what division you play? 
Well, the other thing that's funny about disc golf is when I was first playing, nobody said MA1, MA2. Everybody yeah, like, just said intermediate rack, advanced. Nobody yeah. said MA1, two, three. MA2. Yeah. I think Dude, we should get rid think, of these names. I think if you get rid of, yeah, if you get rid of and you just do the, MA1, my point MA2, was like, MA3. if you just do it to where it's, no one really knows what it is when you say it. Like, yeah. what do you play off of? I'm it's like in college, like our second, it used to be in college. Now they do D1, D2, D3, but it used to be your best flight was champ flight. Yes, But the exactly. second best flight was called first flight. So if you said I was playing first flight, people thought you people were the best team. People thought you were the best team. Yeah, it was it's super like, stupid. Yeah. I like that because then it's then it's uh, right, like texted, you said it don't you don't feel as bad. I texted you the second picture. I think that's why a lot of people jump to up too early is because like Dude, look at this you don't want to be tied to recreation. Well, what, I just like isn't it beginner? Wrong, is it MA three beginner? It, recreational, it recreational, but MA four is novice. MA three is recreational. Correct me if I'm wrong debate. though. If you're eight eighty six, you're not getting flame for playing rec. No shot like, unless you've won. Rec, what? rec still, is a big. Are you getting flame for for playing rec? It depends on so things division. have changed because like there's no way you were ever getting flame for playing rec. You always were. MA two. Okay, I started playing disc golf like MA two like ten years ago. You weren't. I got playing disc golf eight years ago. I'm just saying when I first started playing tournaments, like 886 the, is mighty close to 900. And if you're 900 rated, you're a sandbagger in rec. Well, yeah, I would agree, but he's and, not. And intermediate is like the just hodgepodge. Maybe, you know what? Maybe the problem is there's not enough lower divisions because what you're dealing with right now is you have advanced is like 935 to realistically you see like 980 most of the time. So you have like 50 points there. Okay, if intermediate is supposed to be 935 down to 880, there's 50 points there. The problem is everybody that ends up playing rec, there can be like a hundred point swing. Let's just look. I'm gonna so just maybe more up. people need to offer MA4. I'll pull up a yes, random tournament here you. and look at MA2. The MA2 in this was 830 to 930 was the MA2 that's, range. That's, cr that's crazy. This swing. And uh, there was an MA3. They they only only other thing was MA4. What? I, they, no one must have signed up for MA3. Oh. Everyone signed up for MA2. I, I pulled up a random tournament. From I just profile. can't like... Also, down. the way that ratings currently are, they're also broken. And for the... Hey, shout out to the guy that thinks I don't talk about ratings. I'll go back to saying it. If you only took your top rated thing, and that's what you played off of, of like your potential, this solves a lot of the problems. It does. Because now you're not going to have this 100-point sure. range division. It's, it's going to be a lot more locked in. Yeah. All right, All here's right. the picture. Uh, Trevor, you're getting his division. This first. guy might have my exact disc. This might be my disc. That looks like my clear get freaky. And then it looks like he either has a roach or a luna. He looks like he either has a roach or a luna as his putter. Does that not look like my clear get freaky right there? And his bag? That disc is white. I think it's white, yeah. It is not clear. <laughs> to me, it looks like a white and of a DX like eight. That looks white to you? It is white. I'm pretty sure, yeah. You can't, you can't see, see through it. it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I can see a. Well, also the background right now is white. Yeah. So it's to me, your argument to me that looks like a white DX AV. Yeah, it's that not doesn't good. look somewhat see. -through. Well, it's also not a zone. It's Do not, you see this, Silas? Do you see this photo? It's not. It's not see. <laughs> that's not translucent. No. no. That's opaque. It's definitely opaque. Yeah. What does it say on the hat there? That's kind of a cool hat. I know. I was trying to read it. It's definitely not a disc golf brand. Norland with two R's. Yeah. And then I have no idea what that next word sunglasses is. S-Q-R-T-N. Are those the new Paul McBeth sunglasses? What are those? Probably. What are those things called? Increases your rating by at least 10. He's got the, the khaki bag. That's like a that's a classic. I always wanted to have the khaki bag. Are you going yeah. first or second here? Remember he's guessing the division. And that, oh, he has a second pair of sunglasses in his bag. Double double glassed up. What? And those almost look like a pair of gooders. Why aren't you wearing those? One's probably polarized and one's probably not. That's crazy. Two <laughs> pairs of sunnies. I like this little cheeky little little tongue smile action we got going on here. That's that's a pose. This guy, this is an aesthetic picture. Also, is he playing on ice right now? This, yeah, honestly, this guy, what? this guy's throwing this one up on the Instagram. Like he's feeling it, and he looks good out there. You look good out there. You've got what is his division? It's interesting that he's only got one putter that I can see in the putter pocket. I know he's got more. He's got a putter jammed in that top pocket. He plays the game. He plays the game for sure. Um, but I'm not convinced this isn't. I'm not convinced this is. I won't say a poser. Like you can look whatever you look at disc golf. I'm not convinced this guy isn't in like a lower division guy who may appear as a higher division guy. I'm gonna say MA3. MA3 for, Bro for Trevor Brody. I'm gonna go MA1. MA1 for Brody. The correct answer was MA3. Yes. Trevor gets the the benefit here. Okay. This is Alexander Stenberg out of Sweden. Ah. He has played on 11 events. I struggle with. The so he is playing on ice. Swedish. Yeah, he is. 11 <laughs> events, 
no wins. This rating could be anywhere. anything. He has played up to MA2 one time. Well, that doesn't mean anything to me anymore. But that was <laughs> the event. That was the event that MA3 was not just didn't exist. Your, I'm, I'm European ratings are so hard. Apparently, I'm out of touch. So MA3 player, man, his rating. I'm gonna say, um, I feel like it's probably gonna be lower than I would even think. I just have a number coming to my head, and it's eight twenty nine. See, what do you think? I was gonna say, I like eight forty five. Eight forty five for Brody. Eight twenty nine for Trevor. All right. Brody's having the game of his life. This guy's 844 rated. Brody is within one again. Uh, so Brody is now at 1.5 points total. Literally. Trevor, after his uh, divided by two, hey, is at for, 31 points. Real quick, Trevor. for all the people out there that say I don't know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about ratings, you can suck it. I just want to say at, at Battle for Bedford last year, Rec Division, we had 894, 886, 880, 876, 872, 870. Guys up there are what's playing the, wreck. What's the what's go to MA2 and just like, like sort by rating? You know, MA2, look at like, MA2, like it's fine once you're playing. So Wawa West. I'm just saying, like, you can play in those, like, there's a lot of guys upper 800s that play wreck. Yeah. It does happen a lot. Yeah. I, I was just saying, eight, I just want to make sure I wasn't a crazy. Time, the hodgepodge. No, you can listen. I Because I, I guarantee I'm you that 890. Like guy, a 920. I guarantee you that 890 guy got flamed. No, there was a bu there's a bunch of guys. Like a lot of the field is like 870 and up. Oh, I can't even. I can't even see. Them. There's so many quote unquote baggers. I was gonna say my three. buddy literally. He only. I mean, he only plays like. Unless one you're two collecting events. a ton of dubs, you're not a bagger. Like in, I agree. Like, I agree with what you're saying. Oh yeah, people. MA3 are crazy. doesn't agree with. Yeah, what you're you guys are crazy. You can't be defensive about a division that like you just got to get better. I'm sorry. <laughs> like you can't. You you cannot go into wreck. And get so heated because people are like this. Like, it's one thing if the guy is like, like well over, like he, he wins every tournament. Like, if you're winning a ton, yes, you need to move up because you're be, literally being proven to yourself. But if you haven't even won, I don't know. It, it rubs me the wrong way. You're literally playing a division named recreational. See, there's the for, point. I'm just saying. It, That's why people move up. As of right now, it's called recreational, which I know. means I was just the other for argument. fun. I sent you the next picture. So there you go. The Brody will have the first guess of the division here. Where the heck is this guy playing? <laughs> what is That's this? the Microsoft uh, XP. That's a Microsoft XP uh, desktop background. Robbie yeah, where the that heck is this guy playing? If you're a Robbie C fan, you might have seen in a video a while ago that his uh, he lost one of his wife's disc, a Pearl. I believe it's a Pearl. And uh, he's sitting at my desk and just discovered that it is sitting on my desk because he... he much like people in the story, apparently didn't respond to someone who <laughs> texted him about the disc. And so they emailed us instead. And I said, send it our way. <laughs> what I was going to do with that disc, I don't know yet. It was just sitting on my desk until I found something. Is this guy wearing a solar system shirt? Is that like, is that, the, is that when the planets align? Is that what's going on here? I don't know. I have no idea what this disc is. It's too pixelated. I can't make out the, uh, yeah, I can't either. The stamp. He's wearing sunglasses. He's got Another a sunglasses nice, guy. nice beard. No hat. Form looks. Eh. I want to okay. say. I want to say. What do you think about his arm and um, his meat arm and trail arm position there, hunt and where his hips are? I. I mean, he might be about to crush this disc. <laughs> like, do you think he's got it? I can't right? answer. I can't answer. I'm gonna say the timing. Do you think his timing is right? I have too much content. His hand punch. I have too much context. I have too through. much context to know if this guy throws 500 feet or throws 100 feet. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and say he throws closer to 100 feet than 500 feet. Okay. Wow. No, wait. Closer to 100 than. No, no, no. 500? Wait, no, no. No, that's. No, no. I don't think so. I think he throws closer to 500 than 100. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Literally, you think he throws less than 300 feet? That's what we're getting at. You don't think he can throw over 300 feet? Hmm. I don't know. I 100 percent he can. Decided. What the heck? I haven't decided yet. Are there people out there that can't throw over 300 feet? They don't can't. Say don't do like that. that. Don't a lot. Do things like that. A lot. I mean, yeah, the amount of Reddit I don't threads. I've some feelings before. The, amount, the amount of Reddit threads about trying to break 300 feet. Under the age of 40. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And they've been playing for more than a month. Yeah. yeah. Listen, Brody. There's people out there who've been playing for years. You're really an athletic guy. You got to remember that. Cut him some slack. We're gonna just choose your next word. Down. Just throw nose down. Yeah. Easier said snap your down. wrist. 
and then just rip your hips through and you'll throw over 300 feet and throw the correct distance. In that order. Maybe they're all throwing like really overstable distance drivers. You're going to give out lessons? Here, okay, I'll give this tip. This guy if might you be dirty. Can't throw over th uh, if you can't throw over 300 feet, you should not have any disc that is thin in your bag. Mm. There you go. There you go. You From Brody Smith. Thin? He means like mid-range. Well, I was gonna do a speed thing, yeah, but everyone's that. everyone's feet are different. different. Like if you're throwing 280, you that's I would not say that's thin. No, yeah, I would say no, like a six no distance drivers for sure. Yeah. Like a mantis. That's fine. Yeah. Stalker. A uh, heat. It's fine. Uh, that's getting close. Yeah, but a heat's so flippy. Yeah. Okay. Kind of so beats flippy. It. I but like, don't go up to an Undertaker. You're guessing no. first. Yeah. No. Brody division. Uh, yeah. I think this guy could be a sleeper. Give me, give me. Uh, this guy might be the greatest putter in the world. Give me MA2. MA2 for Brody. Trevor. Give me MA2. Because I, I don't think he's MA1. I don't think he's MA3. So I'm going to, I got to go with I'm MA2. I'm going to say. Nothing really jumps out at me, though. I'm going ultimate sleeper. I'm going to say he's an MPO. Oh, MPO that, for Trevor. That is incredible. He's MA2. Yeah. He is MA2. Yeah. Brody was right there. Yeah. Uh, let me give you some stats about him. He is based out of Ohio. This is Seth Ramirez. 33 Heck career yeah. events. Yeah. Three career wins. Wow, that's a pretty good percentage. One of them coming last season. When it's he almost played out of ten of every ten events, he wins pretty much. He was, he was one for twelve in MA two last season. He okay, won one lost eleven. Well, MA two, so he could be anywhere from eight sixty to nine thirty five. <laughs> like it's so hard. It's good for me though. I need to make a comeback, so this is important. I believe Brody's guessing the rating. For All right, this for some reason I basically just seen a guess far away from Brody at eight eight eight. I don't know why, but that just feels right. I'm going to have to take another gamble again, and I hate that, but I have to, get, I have to get away from Brody. You going high away from me? Yeah. Oh. Trevor? 9-18. 9-18. Woo! Like, I have to play this way. I, he's not going to be low, that much lower. He's, he's winning MA2, so I think. I guess I'm out of touch. Columbus, Ohio. Was he Columbus? Or where did you say Ohio? Findlay. Findlay. So he's just in some random place in Ohio. Death Ramirez out of Ohio is 9. Ooh. 16 rated. Trevor was within two there. Brody once divided by two had 14 points on that Great gap. Game. So, all right, two more. Yes, please comment on this video whether or not you throw in. over 300 feet. Please, I have to know now. I got to climb back. I'm assuming you do. He does. He does. Very excited for this next one. I have a few context clues. Uh, well, does. some uh, there's some additional e information included in this email that I will be able to give you after you guess her division. Oh, oh wow. No. So oh, our first female. Yeah. Oh, um, heck yeah. I know this is a no-no, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say she's about seven or eight months pregnant, probably. <laughs> How would you know? <laughs> yeah. Okay? How would you know? <laughs> uh, based on per personal experience. Well, we got a Yikun disc in hand. All right. Do you think she actually played disc golf here, or do you think she just took yeah, a Yeah, she photo? definitely just aced. But also the basket is <laughs> wait, wait, wait. It's a temp Hold on. basket. I think, we, I think we declare that you can't just take a photo with a finger in the air and everyone assumes you ace i thought i thought we debunked that we talking about that's definitely an ace she's holding the disc up i thought what we did okay clearly what we did last year did not have an impact because we we did a huge marketing campaign to you tell, just lied to people yeah it was a massive marketing you campaign you didn't just post the picture you said we yes. aced there's yes. a difference if it's a had, it was a marketing campaign. yeah but if you had just posted, <laughs> to say stop believing people that just post a photo with a finger in the air next to a basket no they, you didn't just do that yes, you we said did. in yes, the we did. you said yes we did Alvin just stepped up and aced it again yes so you didn't just post the photo it was you also marketing. Told people there's no video evidence Brody, so Brody's it was just Brody's a caption but if it was a caption in a photo don't believe them they're yes. lying yes <laughs> be skeptical Okay. So have proof. Great message. Have proof. Yeah. How are you going to have proof? Hey. Everything's all okay. Yeah. Hey, everyone in here, if you see an email and they say, hey, click this link, we're going to do a brand new. <laughs> everyone just, believes them. Stupid believe argument. them. <laughs> click the links. That everyone is, click the links. Believe them. That is such a stupid argument to be like, that is a great no, if message. Somebody, if somebody we should be spreading. If somebody posted the ace, just don't believe them. They did an ace. Like, or if they did. Be skeptical. You're just a liar. <laughs> Like that's ridiculous. Yeah, we lied to everybody, and they're stupid for believing us. I believe liars. Trevor has the first guess of her division it's ridiculous. here. Ridiculous! What disc is this? There is, is a lot to unpack is here. It she's pregnant. She's got chacos on. She may be ace, but the basket's temporary. What are these band if things? The, what are these band it's situations? Ikun disc. What, what are these band situations? What she's band? got the same exact bands on both hands. What are those? That's a good question. Just wristbands, probably, or bracelets. Hey, she is married. She's got a fat rock on her left hand. <laughs> 
<laughs> but why is the basket a temp basket? I don't, I don't like... I don't know. Maybe because she just needed to take a photo. And so she walked in her backyard where her... Her what if basket just, is the only other explanation for this is that it's a pregnancy announcement, but you wouldn't be announcing your first kid at that stage. First kid. Yeah. So maybe she didn't ace. So we should maybe think about that. She's naming um, her kid Also, who plays in those sandals? You a lot, lot of people do. Uh, don't fall in that trap. Sandals? Don't fall in that trap. A lot of I people don't, do. Lot Connor, of Connor would not have a big toe if he played in those sandals. After <laughs> yesterday's, the toe dragon? After yesterday's ex experience, I would agree with that statement. But a lot, left, lot of people. His play in left them. toe would be so bloody. So we have a female player, though, that makes this complicated because... How far back though are we looking? Because like, what division is she playing in now? Did she go down a division? Because she's is she playing practice? I have twenty twenty three. That <gasps> she's played twenty 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 one twenty twenty two twenty twenty three. So she's played. Unless this picture was from twenty nineteen, she played. Oh, no. That would be really mean to do. I you just told us how many years she's played. That was a that's hint. fair. That's a hint. You are guessing divisions. Uh, Trevor guesses the, the first. Female division, division too. Well, it has to be a female division. Well, it doesn't, it doesn't have to. Be. It's either. There is, no men's, the there, is no, there is no men's division. There is no men's female division or mixed. Yeah. Which let me just put out there, that's messed up. What? Not really. Kind of, yeah. How's it messed up? And that's how every sport is. Still kind of weird. Why but is it weird? Continue. Okay. Um, well, I mean, it's just if you're gonna have a division, you should just make it. Trevor? Um <laughs> <okay>. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say that she plays she has dedication to be out there while this far along in her pregnancy. Um, she got an ace allegedly. I'm just gonna lean in here and say she plays FA one. FA one for Trevor Brody. I'm going FA two. FA two. We're gonna give half credit to Trevor because she splits her time between FPO and FA one. Oh, this you Annalise. You got to be out there trying if you're playing that far it's along. An your Annalise pregnancy. Yancey. The day after this picture and ace, and ace did happen, uh, with a disc that she found. Was there a video? Randomly. I don't have a video evidence. Yeah, no, she's lying. <laughs> well, just so you know, she is lying. But the day after she's lying, but okay. the day after this, she gave birth to their second kid. Well, that's a lie. Oh, that's a lie uh, as well. She also <laughs> was playing disc golf and I think she played in a tournament and like the day after that gave birth to their first kid. That's so, awesome. Oh my gosh. That's so, awesome. Nine months pregnant in the picture, Trevor, you were close. Well, don't they say like I didn't want to listen, I didn't want to be shaming. She, don't, no. don't they say like being super active before your pregnancy helps the pregnancy? It can help. It yeah. Can, yeah. Like, also like walking can induce. Oh, it, yeah. It so, helps like, when you're in shape to go through labor. So yeah. <laughs> uh, we, I'm sure we have a lot of females listening to this podcast. And I'm sure a lot of females listening to this podcast are pregnant. So keep playing disc Yeah, golf. we have a, t we have a ton of females. Um, the email that was sent in, <laughs> the email, gotta be zero in that category. The email that was sent in, uh, wanted to point out that, they, she's from Oregon, which is according to Udis, the state with the highest average rating. Great. That was yeah, sent but in. like, but FPO, like local FPO. So he I has one. thirty-three career events, fifteen career wins, with oh a career earnings of one hundred and twenty dollars. What wins? tournament? Career earnings, earnings is one hundred and twenty bucks. A lot of FA one wins. Oh, okay. Majority left FA one wins. Yeah. Okay, that makes but sense. But like, so. I mean, this is a complete. She toss maybe has only won one. But you will have FPO. divided by multiplied Dude, by point. This is crazy. This rating could be anything. Trevor's first guess here. I'm gonna say that she is eight. Feel the use the force. Feel the force. Eight. Waiting for the number to pop in my head. I'm waiting for it to pop in my head. Twenty. 820? 827. 827 for Brody. Okay. Hold up here. Playing it safe. Here's the number that I had. Playing it safe, huh? Locked in. Little coward. Playing safe. No, I don't really change my number. Playing it safe. I was just feeling 827. Correct answer was 832. Dang it. So Brody has five points there. Trevor, after being multiplied times 0.25, gets three points. Yeah, I think you got closer. So you're cutting it cutting it down there, little Trev. We got one more. We have one more. Little Trev. How many? <laughs> no, you're cutting it down a little oh, okay. Trev. How many do we have? How many points do I have to make up here? Actually, no, you can't tell me. No, you're not allowed to tell. Yeah, don't tell me. No, just, uh, just, just, yeah, I don't want to be accused. You are yet. behind. You we'll could. Just you yeah. could just be a. It's, I think it's a, it's attainable. Though. You could be a mathematician though. I think I'm. Out. I think I'm probably within thirty. All right, here is the last one. Coming. Also, I learned today: no Alzheimer's, not a real thing. Type huh? type three diabetes. Just have the. Uh, it just removes your memory to access your. Removes the ability to access your memory. Oh, you don't right. lose your memories. 
Oh. I don't know if that's controversial to say, but I don't know either. I don't know but what you, you also just said. said. Chick fil A chicken wasn't made out of chicken a few weeks ago, and I, so. yeah, you can't believe it. Well, it's not. And you are you, you are a liar. It's not, <laughs> you got to be. I have video proof. Here's the thing: I was telling people I was lying, and they were still believing me. All right, Hunter. I I texted you. Okay. Yep. <laughs> oh, this guy's playing a legit. Oh, this is a uh, bolt. Uh, this is not boulders. This is the uh, this is other the course. course. No, this is the boulders one. No. Wait, what's the one we played? I thought we played the, the gorge. We pl- this is the boulders course. You guys, played we played the gorge. gorge. Yes. This is the boulders. And the other course. one okay. is this. Uh, this is the FPO course. Yes. Okay. Yep. This is a great hole. One of the most fun holes you'll play out there. Yeah. This, you you parked this. I did yeah, with the Hades. That was disgusting. Sick. Now here's the first right, thing I there's noticed. Dark people watching him. Well, there's advertisement. Yeah. There's, and there's people watching him. This feels like this feels like an actual tournament. Could here. be No, they didn't have ads like that at college nationals, I don't believe. I mean, I was up on that tee. I don't, I don't yeah, remember. Yeah, what it. tournament was this being played? It also time of the year. No it, it would be more in fall bl- full bloom, I think, during they that have ran I mean they have to. This course is so sick. They have to have random events out there. But why is there an in of a I think they're going under. Why is there an Innova thing out there? Well, there was a Silver Series sponsored by Innova. Okay, I don't like this guy's shoes. Maybe this is before the Silver Series. Shoes, the shoes with the white socks worries me. I, I'm just going to come out and say it. Shoes, black shoes. I'm worried white, about the outfit. Black shoes, white socks, some sort of khaki shorts with a polo with some white trim. I'm worried. Yeah, I don't I, hate the nose angle of that disc out of his hand, though. I feel no. like that's a pretty good Heiser flip angle. Note He's down. throwing it down, which is good. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I like the way that came out. Watch of is super tight on his left wrist. Super tight. Got to be. Uh, what do we think about where he's punching down at the time of his arms coming? <laughs> um. Also, he's like staying back on his back leg, yeah. which is a little it's a bad habit, man. Hey, that's difficult. Give to me kick. a difficult habit to kick. Give me, give me a solid. This is everything. I have to guess this. Gosh, Y'all, I guess in the division. Yeah, yeah, yeah give yeah. me, give me an MA three here. MA three for Brody Trevor. I'm gonna just go out there on a limb and I'm gonna say MA one. MA one for Trevor. Both incorrect. It's MA two. Ah, this so picture is taken at 2022 Collegiate Nationals. It was um, Nationals. Yeah, okay. oh, it was 2022. I wasn't there. I explained. So that what right team now. is this? Is this like Mississippi State? It could be. Uh, so that is yeah. He's wearing team polo, team gear. That, I don't know what state. state. Well, he's from Glen it Allen, Virginia, a, but that is a name that's where he went to school. Uh, could be Virginia Tech. A and M, yeah. Yeah, based Virginia out of Tech, Glen Allen, Virginia, yeah. 16 career events. He bumps around from MA3, MA2, but he locks it. Like, MA2, he plays the majority of his events in. No career wins, though. Been a member since 2020. Well, I basically, luckily I'm going second, because I basically, I don't it, know any point here, down, but I have to make an outrageous it, guess. Here's the thing. The black shoes, white socks, I didn't know that was a thing. I'll be the first to say it because I do it all the time. But I just know. The high guy's rocking it right now. I know that people have told me multiple times. White socks are kind of back in. If you wear black shoes with white socks, you're not athletic. That's Ooh. what that's what people have said to me break the mold. for a long that's time. What I say break the mold. So maybe he is trying to break the mold. But he is in MA2, so not breaking it too much. Um, College is like an extra layer of difficulty because guys just get tossed into the division. Sometimes they don't play a ton of tournaments. Is this guy a 900 rated player? That's what I have to ask myself before I go to sleep. Oh, gosh. Whatever you say, I have to say something outrageous. So I'm hoping you say something really weird. I think, I think this guy, now I'm going psychological. Okay. I think this guy, for him to have the confidence to send in this photo, for us to talk about it, for us to... He knew he was wearing black shoes. He was knew he was wearing white socks. For him to go to actually press the send button to send this photo to Hunter, no shot he's under 900. 908. 908 I think I've been, I've been giving a lifeline because... Obviously, there's a chance, based on what we've seen today, he's much lower than that. So you gave me, if you would have guessed like right in the middle, like 885, it's I think not how I play the game. It's not how I play the game. In college, I think there's a better, there's a much better chance in college of a guy being MA2 and being low rated. So I have a chance here. And I'm going to say that he is 879. It's going to be close. Correct answer was eight. 48. Oh, that's a dub. Brody was 60 off there. Uh, so that gives Trevor 29 points back. Oh, Trevor with no 31. Close. This guy has there. This guy has the biggest balls I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> this guy has the biggest balls I've ever seen in my life. 
I got bring up the calculator here. Shout, shout out to that guy. It's a college rating. I thought I thought there was no way in heck this guy was under 900 rated and would send in this photo. So Trevor has a total score. I respect this man of 67.5, meaning he is the winner because Brody is already at 74, 79, 80.5. Trevor oh. takes it down. It's a beat down. I respect that man too much. Well, Brody got 60 points in the last round, so it's kind of it's hard to win if you're 60 points off in one guess. It's pretty tough. That's a tough pretty one. Tough. To win. It right. shows you don't hey don't trust people and don't respect people. That's what That's we learned what today. We learned. I agree. Yeah, you know, uh, we just have a few stories with a few questions to wrap the show up. How, what are we at time wise, Sai Guy? 50 minutes? I mean, okay. it was getting canceled, so we can do whatever we want today. Well, we have like one more week of it. And then it's getting canceled. Yeah, by okay. debate night. So we got to gotta lock in here a little bit. Lock in, man. Bali Ezra. Let me see. I'm going to pick one of these two stories. <laughs> I don't even remember what this one was. We should probably put another thing. All right, I'm going to go with this one. On the wall, this is don't click links in emails that you don't know. We should. That's, That's a good idea. Funny. So this one is anonymously submitted. It's a story of a lost disc. One day I was playing disc golf with some friends at a local course called Aquatic Park. On the second hole, and my friend's shot went a little left and faded out of sight after hitting a small tree branch. The grass was pretty high that day, so we decided to look anywhere that, that disc could be. There were two big bushy trees that I was looking in. We were looking for an MVP wave with a green flight plate and a black rim. When I found a green disc in one of the trees, I was excited, but realized it wasn't the wave. I decided to take it down and find out that it was an ESP Soul. It had a name and number on it, so I texted the guy that I found his disc and was playing at Aquatic Park. Unfortunately, he didn't get back to me until about an hour after I got back to my house. I told him I was willing to get it back to him, but I don't currently have a form of transportation, so I suggested he could pick it up in front of my house. So I put it there and waited. He said yes, said he would pick it up about an hour later. 40 minutes after that, I get a text from him saying, thank you, but the disc wasn't taken. Oh. I waited a week and left it at the base of my house. No new text, no taken disc. Now I don't know what to do or what happened to this guy. What should I do with the disc? I don't have any mid-range as flippy as a soul, so I, it would be used, but it is also someone else's disc that they would probably want. So what do I do? So he just responded, thank you? Yeah, he said thank you. Like 40 you minutes after, he had already, he'd talked to him and they like coordinated, I'm going to leave this disc out. He said, I'll be by in about an hour. 40 minutes after that text, he said, thank you. Okay. But didn't this, pick it up. You need to call the cops. This guy got kidnapped. <laughs> this true. is one of those situations. Guy got kidnapped. Someone has his phone, sees all the text messages that are going through, has to close up the loose ends. Maybe. Could be. I only get to call the cops, but I do think the soul's yours. I watched a disc golf dot law video on this. Highly recommend everyone who's interested in this channel to watch that video. And it sounds like you found the disc you did everything you need to do to get it back to him. He has now abandoned it. It's yours. That's my opinion on it. Or he's kidnapped. He's in the back of a truck yeah, somewhere I'm going to Tijuana. He's in the. Yeah, that sounds right that, to me. That's not his. Who he, says thank you and doesn't pick up a disc? That makes no sense. Or did he go pick up a disc from somebody else? Yeah, Imagine he just walked, another problem. He walked to somebody at the course <laughs> or whatever, and he was like, "You got my soul," and the guy's like, "Here, here I guess." Yeah, and hands him a green soul. I mean, I think, I think this soul's yours. I think you have to text this guy, though. And I would him. text him one more time. Like, hey, I, is everything okay? Like, hey, realize you didn't pick the disc up. You still want it back. I, I would send him, like, one more text, and that's it. I bury that disc in the backyard. I or ask him a question that only a disc golfer will know. Oh, yeah, make sure. So that way, that disc is associated with a crime. What are the, just ask him, what's the flight numbers of the disc you lost? Yes. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. What's a hyzer flip? Well, some people don't believe in flight numbers, so maybe don't ask him that. But then he can at least Google. He knows it's a soul. So he can at least Just Google. ask him who's the greatest of all time in disc golf. That's there you go. Unanimous. If he says Matty O, you got your guy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, final story to wrap up the show here from Zach. He said, living in Florida for eight years, I decided to escape the palm trees and sandy beaches to return to California and visit family. Little did I know that my adventure would take an unexpected turn at a local disc golf course. Meeting up with family, we embarked on a round of disc golf at a soft par three course. This particular course had two baskets for each tee providing a variety of shot shapes and difficulties each time he played. Being the best player there, I was getting excited and feeling the pressure to perform well at their home course. I'd been playing disc golf for around three years, averaging about one round a week. However, I had never aced. The California air must have ignited a spark of unexpected talent in me because I was playing out of my mind. I was four under through the first five holes. Can't relate. As I confidently stepped into the sixth tee, I lined up my shot with the precision of a seasoned pro and threw my trusty G-Star into the Eagle. People tell these stories so On hard. a backhand spike. He's <laughs> writing a novel. These guys write novels and they send these stories in. The I love it. The disc sliced through the air, tracing a flawless line. 
they're so romantic about this call. <laughs> like, it's like it's I like, have never once been like, <laughs> I put out my trust eagle and it sliced a line. Like, I, I love, love it. it. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. We need to get these guys to write on our blog. It's crazy. As it faded back towards the basket, I realized that the disc lacked the power it needed to get close to the basket. My gaze dropped in dismay. <laughs> <laughs> like, I love you can't make this up. You can't make this up. <laughs> Only to be interrupted by the resounding sound resounding clash of plastic against metal echoing through the air like the proclamation of an unexpected triumph. <laughs> sure enough, I had aced in the wrong basket, which lie approximately 45 feet short into the left of the basket I was aiming for. My card mates were astonished, and we laughed it off and continued playing. I was slightly annoyed that I was so close to getting my first ace. However, wanting to continue the success of the round, I left the black ace behind me and continued to the seventh tee. I got the disc within 25 feet of the basket and drilled the putt. Here I was, still without a genuine ace to my name, on the dry tee pad of hole eight. Hole 8 was one of the longer holes of the course, perched up on a hill surrounded by guardian trees. With my card mate's remarks still echoing through my head about my earlier black ace, mm. they playfully reminded me which basket to aim for. I was merely thinking that this would take a bit of a heave to get the disc up to the elevated surface. I intended to throw a backhand hyzer flip with my G-Star end of a wraith. Let's go. There I stood, the sun beating down on the dry California desert, a mixture of dirt and sweat on my hands, with both the pressure of the pressure and excitement of shooting one of my best rounds in front of my family. I took my run up and released the disc. The perfect amount of hyzer combined with a great line gave me hope of getting the elusive ace. The disc started to flip, to my pleasure. <laughs> Maybe it was it's fan fiction. Maybe it was my excitement giving me more power than I knew I had, or a gust of wind from left to right. Either way, my disc flipped over and started to glide to the right a little more than I wanted. The next moment, my disc was at the bottom of the basket, but not the correct basket. The disc had fought Double through a tree. Ace? The disc had fought through a tree branch and hit dead center chains. It was the second black ace in the span of three holes. That's hilarious. We were all very excited and bewildered and laughed it off. I finished around shooting a solid 11 under. In the midst of my exciting round, there was a there was a pain as I was saddened how close yet so far away I was from getting my first ace. It's been two years since that fateful day. I have since witnessed my best friend get his first ace, only being reminded of the day I got two black aces. To this day, I still only have two black aces and zero true aces to my name. Sometimes the best memories are the ones that you never saw coming, or in this case, were aiming for. What do you beautiful? What do you guys think is? What do you guys think is harder to do? Two black aces, so two aces that you weren't trying to do, uh -huh. or trying to ace a hole for nine hours straight and never acing. Which one do you think is harder? <laughs> Probably the two black aces. Okay, black Probably. aces. Well, the, the, only time, two. the only time black aces are ever like easy is if you're playing a course where, like, if you, if you play like Falling Creek Reds or Yellows, there's a few holes where like the red basket is in the, in the way. Or like stacked underneath in one of the yeah, cases. Yeah, that's that's so like great. there are some times where it's like I've watched guys throw flex forehands and like halfway there. That is a cruel <laughs> and unusual jab, and I will not stand for it. <laughs> There's I mean, well, guys, you you did you said nine hours. It's ten and a half. Now. Oh, ten and a half. Yeah, okay. it's ten and a half right. hours now. Right. After right. Right. apologies. Yeah. Hey, Connor, I apologize. Ten and a half hours. I'm sorry. Um, I need I need to get that right. So. Yeah, I, that was a crazy story though. That it two black aces in, in three holes. Yeah, it's crazy. crazy. I have one black ace, I think, ever. Where did the? Do you guys know where the name came from? Like, why did it start? Why did people? Start I think there's a brown ace, ace too. That's when you poop your pants. No, I, the only black ace I, I ever Google. Had, Is it because like because of when they started making two baskets, one of them was black? I don't know. Oh, you know what? Is it because they put trash bags over like the basket that isn't being used sometimes? A oh, so trash bags black. That could be it. I like that. I wonder. Yeah. The wonder only one I ever had was when it was there was two baskets that were lined up. It was a forehand, and one was the short one was about fifty feet sh short of the long one on the same line. So if you threw your forehand fifty feet short, it was going right into the short basket. A mm. uh, brown ace is a throw from a tee that inadvertently lands in a dumpster or trash can. That's oh, hilarious. That's great. Uh, disc golf wiki. I didn't know this website down. existed. I was gonna say we need to have some sort of. A black aces when a uh, yeah. Uh, nice. Black aces when happens when a disc golfer throws a disc at one target ends up in a different one. I'm trying to see where it came from. It likely. Oh wow, they have the etymology of it. Great job. The term black ace likely originated from the unexpected and surprising nature of the event, as the disc golfer unintentionally achieved an ace in a black or unforeseen manner. That doesn't make sense. Must be the use of the word black in this context refers to the unexpected and unconventional nature of the ace as it deviates from the intended, tar 
that still doesn't make sense to me. There must uh, be taking it from something else. Well, Black Ace in baseball is what first came up. What is that? In I baseball? I've never even heard of that. Yeah, because I, I was like, what I thought that maybe it was like a golf term. Um, black aces are the extra players added to a roster for a team's playoff run after their own season is over in the minor ace. leagues or okay. elsewhere. Yeah, I was going to say, they use aces in baseball, but an ace is well, like... An ace is your best pitcher. Best, oh, yeah. black, there's also the NHL, too. I've never heard... I've never heard them use that term for like a guy you in add baseball right, a guy you add well in hockey it's usually right before the tr- so an right nhl line. uh black ace is a player from a junior league who is called up by from an nhl team after the original team season has ended yeah so like the season's over now they're going for the they playoff run guys bring up guys. Run. but I, I never heard him call but that wouldn't make sense that wouldn't make sense for interesting so who knows where it came from in disc golf someone trash, out there trash bag theory hopefully one of our pregnant uh female listeners can tell us yeah well, actually, wait a second. We have one. <laughs> My wife. Oh, we there you go. We have one. There well, you go. two. We don't know that they're listening. Oh, no, she's not pregnant. she's not pregnant anymore. She's, she's not pregnant. Yeah. That we know of. You don't think she listens? Do you think someone else sent the it's, uh, Her husband did send the photo in. But Dang, she plays disc golf. She Annalise play. does play disc golf. Hopefully she listens. Annalise, if you're listening out there. Comment. Comment. Let comment. us know. All right. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.